So there's a boat coming towards me. Now the problem with the boat coming towards me is he's not going fast. I don't want to pass him at the point where the boat's moored up ahead. So what I've done is I've taken the revs off and I'm going to sort of hover, but I think he's doing the same thing. He looks like he's hovering, waiting for me to come through. There's a boat there, there's a tree there, so it's naturally narrowed a bit anyway. I think he was hanging back. I'm going to get past this tree and then move her back over towards the right, sort of out of his way. Oh, I don't know. I can't work it out. Some people just cruise really slowly. You do find the odd ones. Yeah, it's all clear. Hiya. Can I ask you something? Were you sort of hanging back a little bit? To, yeah. I was doing the same thing. That's why it took so long. Never mind. No, that's fine. I'd rather have that. But over here, there looks to be a little village of some sort. Don't know what it is. These are 48 hour moorings. These are scattered all up and down this middle witch branch. It's absolutely lovely. It's a beautiful arm of the canal. It really is. It's, it's like the Glen Rock one. Good afternoon folks. Hello. I like the name. I think it's in that boat. Oh is it? Oh you're admiring it. It's a great name though. <laughs> I've already got one. I can't afford two. But a, a guy popped up whose boat it was and said do I want to buy it? And the answer is of course no. Because I, heresy though it is. I'm not a fan of the traditional boat style. Some people love it. I don't know what it is. I'd say I've got a black cold heart on me, I think. Because I'm completely unmoved. I like the sound of the engines. I do like that. The, those, some of those put, 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 put engines. It's a, it's, listen, it's a matter of personal taste, you know. There's no right or wrong answers when it comes to personal taste. <laughs> I was going to start. There's right or wrong answers with music. Like, if you don't like the Rolling Stones, you, you're clearly wrong, you know what I mean? You are just wrong. But, um, I'm joking, don't, don't shoot me down in flames or whatever it's called. gonna say all is well with the world uh, but you know I, I cannot say that in a serious way because some disaster will strike within 30 seconds but is that hubris or something when you you're boastful or whatever it is anyway um, I absolutely cannot afford any of it otherwise the the giant mallet of karma will smack me on the head so the coach got to go back on I enjoyed the two and a half minutes where it was off that was jolly nice that's like a oh my god it's upside down like a squirrel or something uh, oh there's a boat called red squirrel red squirrel and dead squirrel within 30 seconds afternoon Coffee situation needs some explanation. Um, 
I was late stopping in terms of coffee you know time of the day to drink coffee I was late so I for the final phase for the second and final sort of stage up towards Middlewich I, I opted instead for uh, cocoa it feels late to be having a third coffee at 1pm there's people watching this going granddad you, oh, you're pathetic but we're just going under an A road. I'll look up what this is later. Now I won't bother. We're like, what a, I'm, I say things like, oh, I'll, I'll look that up later. Oh, no chance. And oh, there's the badger, and the badger is now 500 meters away. I am still unable to um, avail myself. Oh yeah. No, you can't stop now. <laughs> A well deserved break. As the crow flies, it is 3.6 miles something, but there's a massive bend in the canal, so it's gonna be something like six. We're doing sort of 2.6, 3.8, oh god this is going crazy. I think we're doing about two and a half to three. Some people go two and a half miles an hour, are you mad? And I'll arrive well before dark, you know, I'll arrive in, I mean what time is it now anyway? Out of interest. 1.30pm. If it is six miles, the latest it will be is, it'll take, if I do two miles an hour and I slow down for boats and if I do all that, I'm still I'm still moored up by 4.30 in the afternoon. So it's well like you've still got three hours of light. It's not like the winter anymore, where you want to get moored by four o'clock, you know, it's a bright pain is that. In the winter after dark. Especially when it's icy, I can't be I can't be bothered. It's gonna be half four, bags of time. So why not take it easy on the engine? I'm not going to ask you to listen to the engine note like I did last time. I think that was a mistake. Hi. Hi. This is a, a higher boat who's approaching me. You get to know the livery, the colours and the, the stuff, the patterns on them. So you can spot a higher boat uh, up ahead. Um, Hi guys, are you going far today folks? Oh nice, nice, it'll be a good cruise. It'll be a good cruise listening. I didn't even hear. I didn't even hear where she said they were going and I was like nice, nice, yeah, good cruise. As if I would know anyway, even if I had heard. I've only been up this, oh. The once, I think it was. Yeah. The winter of 2021. The winter of 2021, I came up here, sort of buddied up with a, a, an older gentleman, probably early 70s, I think. Gift shop and ice cream, hang on. Monday to Saturday, nine to five. Gift shop and ice creams. I'm not a fan of ice cream. I like some ice creams. I used to, I don't know what's the matter with me. I don't know what's happened to my taste buds. I used to love a good ice cream, but I'm just not as keen. Mind you, rum and raisin can still sort of suck me in, do you know what I mean? Anyway, sun's, sun is properly out here. So, uh, that's nice. It's turning into a really nice afternoon. And I'd forgotten how nice this arm was. And do you know the reason is because when I came through here, with that el older gentleman. I was going to say elderly, I'm sort of elderly now because I, I'm 60 shortly. God, oh, I'm 60, can you believe it? Um, just, I, I seriously need to grow up. I've got a little cunning plan to meet uh, an old mate that I sort of, I say an old mate, it's sort of a boating mate, but um, really nice fella. Um, on the Bridgewater, somewhere near Lim. And that'll be in a couple of weeks as well. That's not long now. 
he's coming, we're sort of passing close enough that it's worth meeting up, see if we can uh, have a few beers in one of the local boozers or something. But he's such a laugh, the guy, he's brilliant. So, sorry, back to, came through here, it was late October, mid to late October 2021, it was a cold day, it was a winter night, you know, it was getting dark at like five o'clock, and we were coming up here, we were both heading towards Middlewich, he was carrying on to go to, down the boat lift and onto the River Weaver for a bit. We came up and it was really grey, it was cold, like the sky was, you know, properly grey, dark grey, you know, <laughs> dark grey. I don't know why I did the big skeletal voice there, dark grey. Uh, I'm just a drama queen. I sort of helped him out with the locks, I, I got him through. He wasn't struggling, he was okay, but he had something wrong with his spine and he was kind of bent over a bit, you know, like permanently he had a, a bend in his spine. So I think he was in a certain amount of discomfort, if not more, I dread to think. Um, and I, I just thought, I, I can't let him do these locks, you know. So I sort of got myself through and then went back and uh, helped him through. This is definitely a canal that looks nicer in better weather. I'm, I'm thinking one option is go south, down the Trent and Mersey, or the Shropshire Union, probably the Trent and Mersey. I don't fancy the locks, right? But I haven't been down that stretch, so it'll be new. So I'll probably go down Trent Mersey and, you know, just head down towards the Oxford Canal, the South Oxford, for a month or two, and then see what happens. The other option is to go north, along the Bridgewater, sort of skirt the edge of Manchester, uh, and then go up the Wigan flight, which as some of you will know is like 27 locks. Uh, so that's gonna just be horrendous, that. I'll have to go to the gym, or I'll have to sort of try and get into shape somehow, because that's gonna be such a trial, 27 locks in a day. I'm not physically currently in a state where I can do 27 locks in a day. I mean, you'll get volunteers helping, because I'm single-handed, there'll be volunteers who help, but they're double locks as well, by the way. Not 27 of these thin locks, 27 double locks. Oh my God. Just noticed the bank's coming out. I've only just noticed, because I'm messing about looking at the map, that there was a narrow point in the canal where the bank's closing, and I just sort of saw it at the last minute. We very nearly had an amateur moment there. So got through that without touching anything. Sorry folks, I'm letting the side down by not hitting things here. Afternoon folks, uh, I like the little boat, got to get myself one of those things there, uh, more for the rivers aren't they those up there, yeah. Um, so I'm finding, I'm hitting things less often, now I know, got them into a bridge hole, for me, that's like the kiss of death isn't it, but look, I even dared to say that on the approach to a bridge. So, I don't know what that was, or is. Is it accommodation? It, it clearly was stables, because you can see this horsey-shaped doors. You know, upper and lower doors that close separately. So maybe it's been converted into housing, but I bet you that's what's happened. That's nice, look at the, the covers on the windows. A lot of continental houses have those covers, don't they? And I often wonder, we're the ones who get the windy weather, so why? Is it that they, we don't have them and they do? Like, do you know what I mean? I don't remember it being this nice. Which is great. 
you know, because it's a nice surprise. That sun, honestly, when that sun comes out from those clouds and starts shining down, there's sun heat in it. It may be only April 2nd, but, but that's English weather, isn't it? It's just so changeable. People, people wonder, you know, why is it so many English British conversations focus on the weather? And especially with boaters as well, by the way, bloody hell. And it is because it's so changeable. I used to joke it's the only country in the world where at certain times of year you can walk down a street and see one man in an overcoat and another fellow wearing shorts. And at some point during the day both will be appropriate clothing. But it's just so lovely and normal. And obviously, you know, to some extent this is why this lifestyle is, is uh, popular. Well, it's not, you know, how can you say it's popular when there's only 6,000 people out of the 60 million or more in the country? Only 6,000 of them do this full time. It, that doesn't constitute popular. Those, that's not a popular thing. But you know what I mean? This is why. This is why, because you can spend time living in a lovely, quiet, rural location, you know, um, for a few days, just absolutely chill out. You know, if you want to be away from people, and then a day or two later, you can be in the middle of a town with you know all the facilities available, all the shops. You know, you've got that flexibility. You can sort of have the best of both worlds. The world that you don't have the best of is the world of uh, water. You know, utilities. Less water available on a day-to-day -day basis. That is a that's a big compromise, nobody likes doing that, especially not in the heat of the summer. I'm not going to go into any more detail on that, but, you know, significant compromises, space, storage space. But, I can come to places like this, you know, when I'm fed up with people, or just want to, you know, some downtime, or whatever it may be, and just absolutely chill out far from the madding crowd, so to speak. So, it feels too soon, really, to check how far we've got. But, I'm gonna do it anyway. Do you know, we're not that far away. Ah, now, is this it? I keep seeing places and saying, Oh, this is the place where I moored that with that older guy. And I keep thinking to myself, this is the place that rings a bell and all that. Like, maybe it was further back. Maybe it was that place that rang a bell further back. Okay. Anyway, uh, who cares? Right. This is just going to be a bit tricky. But I think I've got it. I'm starting to wonder why the hell did I hit so many things? last winter on the Langlochland because even by then I'd been on the boat two years I wasn't like new I think it do you know what genuinely I think it was getting used to operating cameras and being distracted by pointing a camera around talking to it I think it was a, it was a new thing to adapt to and it made me forget sometimes to keep an eye on the boat I'm pretty sure hiya it's a nice spot this isn't it yeah well I'm not stopping today anyway take care yeah morning rings he said when he stopped, they were on their own. And obviously now two of the boats have turned up. Look, you can see down. I'm, I'm looking ahead so the camera's going everywhere because I'm trying to steer the boat. Down is like a plane. Oh yeah. That's a lovely view, isn't it? 
it was a beautiful little spot. The problem is though, I'm kind of running out of provisions really. I was gutted the other day actually, but the worst news I've heard for months. Um, M&S are closing 65 branches in the UK over the next year or two. Absolute disaster. I hope it's not the food hall locations they're going to close, because that's just, that's heartbreaking. I need those things to raise morale. If you've been out on a, you know, if you've been out on a stretch where you've had to shop at things like spa, you know, and some of those, you know, you know what I mean, I don't want to slag them up, but you know what I mean. Um, little local shops, they do, they do their best, you know, small premises, I'm not, sounds like I'm, sounds like, I mean, I'm sort of joking, and I'm joking anyway, by the way. You know, joking about, I'm not going to be heartbroken. I'm, I'm, I am going to be disappointed. I'm not going to lie, you know. Because it really is nice. If you've been out in the wilds a little bit, it's lovely to get to an M&S and get, you know, garlic and coriander beef and, you know, calamari with, um, or squid rings with, um, peppers and something else or pepper and I don't know what well, you know what I mean they have all sorts of nice little nice little ed edible things and uh, I'm, a ma I'm a massive fan I'm far too big of a fan I mean I'm, you know physically I am far too big of a fan and yeah so um, devastating news really 65 of those are going to close so you know It'll be a day to wear a black armband, I think, and um, and mourn. Now this, right, is a bit concerning. I've just noticed several flies of a type that have reminded me of horse flies. Now what I don't want, right, I absolutely don't want to contemplate the idea that horse flies are going to be in action starting like today. It is what it is, so I'm going to have to mentally cope and prepare myself. I've got repellents. I've even got one repellent, right? Horsefly repellent that's designed for horses. Like this thing is for cattle, cattle grade repellents. Now I don't put it on myself, I don't think, but I'll spray it around the deck, you know, to, but in the hope that it will deter them when, when in full, full on season. That may have been just a few early stragglers, you know, nature's like that. Anyway, so this is the railway bridge. The main line, I think this is the railway that runs through Winsford. It's the main line, so it'll run down to Crewe, I think. Downside of Winsford is this is a lonely section of canal. I want to go a bit further to get closer to a couple of boats, because it's better if you're leaving the boat for a couple of days, you want it to be in a place where there are other boats around. But a bit of extra security there's a track uh, there's also a road a few hundred yards up ahead so all this is good mooring but not a massive part of the location like there's a right i don't know what that is but i'm shit scared of it right i don't know what that is So up ahead there, there's the bridge. That road there runs into Winsford and to the station pretty much. So that's my access road. So I don't want to go too far past that point. But I feel like this is the stretch I should stop in. Yes, this there's railings here as well. I can tie the boat here. Do you know what? Maybe this is the place to uh, do it. Maybe this is the spot. So I'm going to go past him and maybe 100 yards and then on more. I'm there, so I'm close to my road bridge and it's a tarmac surface, so that's good as well. Middlewich. 
think I'm maybe a mile out. Some one line moorings. So over there we've got a farm. And I think, I'm sure I remember seeing cattle in this field at some stage, so that's a thing. Uh, it's a know, farmhouse residence, whatever over there. There's another boat, 150 yards behind me. Fields, Winsford is over in that direction. Uh, but all in all, I've got to check the internet out so I didn't do that, so I'll see what's what. But all in all, I like the look of it, I think it's a lovely little spot. So there we are, bye for now.